hi guys uh, welcome to another uh, trail of database administration uh, today we will be talking about binary logging and before starting the tutorial if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe and so you can get updated about all the upcoming tutorial on uh, mysql database administration and please like th and share this video as well okay so uh, now today we will be talking about binary logging uh, this is a very essential and a very key point topic in uh, uh, mysql database administration and regarding because uh, this is a very huge usage in uh, uh, HS solutions uh, and uh, backup requirement so okay so to, in this uh, tutorial uh, like this is going to be uh, three or four uh, tutorial uh, and uh, I'm dividing this into three or four tutorial and we will be discussing about these points how we can use binary logging and uh, what type of uh, binary log formats uh, we have in our binary logging and uh, how we can extract uh, statements from binary log um, by timestamps and uh, uh, different ways uh, and how we can ignore some samples of uh, like few databases to do not uh, uh, ban do not write to binary logs and uh, how we can relocate binary logs and uh, how uh, we can do the binary log transaction compression and this binary log transaction compression is only available in uh, 8 and especially in 8.2.20 yeah 8.0.20 so it's available in that in that version and and the, we have that current version is yes yeah current mysql version is uh, 8.2.22 so we have this uh, binary compression okay so now what is binary logging uh, binary logging contains uh, a record of all the changes to the database and both data and structure okay and the binary log is not used for statements uh, such as select or show uh, that do not modify any data uh, running a server with binary logging enabled as a it has a slight is performance effect but it's not that much but uh, to in order to achieve something good you have to sacrifice for something uh, the binary log is uh, uh, crash safe uh, only completes uh, only completed events or transaction are logged or read back so read back means uh, if you have uh, need a slave so replication so it will be uh, like a slave will read from this binary logging or if you want to uh, extract some data from it then you can also uh, read the binary log as well okay so now why do we need the binary logging so we need this binary logging for replication and point in time recovery just i said that uh, we need this uh, for these two uh, two things to get and uh, why do you need it for replication because uh, what you do is uh, you have to stream any changes made to the server to another server uh, using the binary logs and the slave act as a mirror copy and can be used for uh, to distribute the load uh, distribute the load means if you want to uh, do any read transaction or if you want to take the backup then that backup can be taken from the slave uh, the server that accept the rights is uh, referred to as master uh, master or uh, now you can say that it is called a source and the mirror copy server is referred to a slave uh, but it is said to be now this is a source and replica so the slave is no more a keyword just because uh, in mysql uh, majority of the dbs are familiar with the master and the slave terminologies but they are not used anymore uh, now we use is uh, uh, source and replica okay so next is point of time recovery so this is required if you want to do any point of time recovery uh, because mysql only provide uh, mysql uh, this uh, community version provide only mysql dumps or pump so so suppose that you take a full backup or, or you take a full dump at uh, 12 in the night on sunday and your database crash at 8 in the morning on sunday so using backup what you can do is you can only recover till uh, 12 uh, Sunday uh, night uh, but so if you want to do any point in time recovery then you have to use all your binary logs so you can apply them and you can recover till 8 uh, 
uh, in the morning till the time when the database uh, got crashed so these are the two major uh, usage of binary logging and next we have is that uh, how we can use the binary log so you have to enable the binary log if it's not enabled in order to enable your binary log you have to set these two variable uh, one is this uh, log log bin uh, sorry log bin and the other one is your server id and then you have to restart your server so you can also mention the path uh, base name in the log bin file in the log bin uh, variable but if you do not want if you can only provide the name uh, as well so let's say just me because i need to highlight few things okay this will be fine okay so now uh, for example if you want to enable uh, your log bin then what you can do is that you can set this log bin variable and you can set it to this name like uh, it can be any name uh, bin log name any any name of your log file and then your binary log will be stored inside this folder okay this one bin log table or any uh, any directory uh, which is uh, known by your mysql server uh, you can store that your binary logs into that and your binary log will be uh, start from like this uh, like dot zero zero one something like that and then will go up to uh, number of switches it does and so on so the server create a new file in the series uh, like when you it restarts or or you flush the logs or the current size of reach the max uh, log bin size uh, then it what it does that uh, it is going to create a new file so we have an another index file as well uh, which contains the location for each binary log and if it has to refer uh, to these binary logs uh, like uh, in terms of uh, replication in terms of point in recovery then it can be used okay how you can enable it uh, currently uh, in my environment it's already been enabled but I will show you uh, that how we can check that uh, we can check that using this uh, show variable uh, log in just a minute let me show you that if it is already enabled if you can see here my log bin is on and this is the base name base name means that uh, it's available inside this directory uh, let me clone this session and let's go here and I will show you so uh, these are the binary log I have uh, because uh, this one okay so my today's is uh, 21 uh, 21st of December as you see here and uh, this is the current today's uh, binary log so it started from 001 and it has been gone to 0015 so this is my current binary log and uh, yes this is index file uh, and other a few settings uh, because uh, MySQL will use the log bin version 2 and it's off by default so if, if you some of your uh, like uh, there's a few things which are not compatible so I have turned this off you can check this uh, how these things work or I can tell you in future how these things work okay so that's if you want to enable it uh, what you have to do is uh, inside uh, I don't have this setting uh, ha because this is enabled by default but if you want to do it uh, what you have to do is that you have to uh, change the setting inside your uh, configuration file uh, all you have to do is that uh, you have to set this uh, pin log file uh, this pin log variable this one just like this log bin and you have to give it to the path uh, so our path is so if you seen here this is my path uh, in this side the bin log is the name okay you see here uh, bin log yeah this is the name so in this environment we are giving a name as server one so you can give any name you want so also you have to provide a server id as well okay so you if you want to see um, the binary logs uh, what you can do is you can check with this uh, command show master logs or show binary log uh, that can show you that what are our current uh, binary log which are used by our mysql server so both of these command can be used uh, in terms if you want to know okay if you see here show binary log or show master log is uh, for both okay so next we have uh, 
show master status uh, what is the current binary log i am reading uh, i'm doing this because uh, in future uh, in setting your uh, replication environment or if you want to set up your backup environment you might have to use these all these so i'm currently reading this uh, 15 one and at the position is 156 so this is uh, your uh, binary log position and file of your binary log if you see here these are the old one and this is the fresh one currently we are using so this is how uh, you can uh, do the binary logging and uh, so next if you have is uh, if, let's say if you want to enable or disable uh, if, like if in, you have some few of your transaction and you do not want to uh, what do you say you do not want to uh, log them in your binary log like let's say uh, these are not required for your backup or you these are not required inside your uh, uh, replication side so what you can do is uh, you can set this uh, sql log bin at the session level and after this like uh, this uh, now if you see here after this any of your uh, logs any of your statements uh, like uh, insert and update uh, any statement that can modify your data uh, it cannot be uh, logged in log, logged into your or written into your binary log so uh, and yes uh, if you uh, let's say if you haven't uh, set your auto commit uh, which is uh, by default uh, set to one uh, then uh, this uh, sql log bin will not be uh, you cannot set this to zero because uh, you need to be a part of your transaction so if you're not a part of a transaction then you cannot set it uh, to the log bin so you have to set your auto commit to one so then only you can set this uh, sql log bin is equal to zero or sql log bin is equal to one to set it back uh, to one then all you need to uh, this so this is how you can do it if let's say if i want to check this uh, what is my current value then and you can do it like this so it's one so that's how you can uh, work with your binary log and in next one we will see how we can move the log and how we can set the expiry of the binary log and how we can set the uh, formats of the binary log so that's it for today guys uh, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe share and comment on this video thank you so much